Hello everyone, um, it's me again. First, let's explore its uh, traditional approach using the labeling tool uh, called um, Label Ink. It simplifies the annotation process, so we can install it um, with a simple pip install um, uh, Label Ink. The resulting um, XML files here um, encapsulate uh, essential information about the labeled objects. So here you can um, visualize the XML um, files, navigate through um, from image to uh, image. I'd like to introduce you to another tool, which is a cloud-based um, machine learning or computer vision platform called Roboflow. Here you can upload your um, data data set directly to um, Roboflow. Here, if you have a basic account, you have, then you are bound by a limitation, upload limitation of 10K. The annotation tool here um, is um, a very, a very intuitive. Uh, it helps you um, easily um, annotate your, your images and assign classes to um, objects um, in, in the images here um, in our case birds um, um, so uh, Roboflow nearly organizes the annotated data into uh, train test and validation validate valid data subsets you can here visualize the uh, is and uh, here you, you have the pre-processing steps if you want to add some pre-processing in my case i've already i only use the auto orient um, uh, feature and here the augmentation options um, i'm not going to use this because it's already defined in my um, model um, config pipeline so once i'm um, um, uh, happy with the with the data set, then I generate a new version and um, you can um, um, can here export the da data set by clicking on the export data set button and select the Pascal Voc format. If you want to use the Roboflow API or CLI, uh, sorry, to um, download the data set. Uh, when using the uh, Jupyter Notebook or the Colab Notebook, then you use the uh, um, command um, line interface tool and the command line. Uh, in my case, I, I in this case, I directly exported the, uh, the zip file, zip the file and export it and download it uh, as it is.